Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap for Friday, December the 2nd, 2016. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of uh, Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live sessions to take a look at the market, macro to micro, to take a look at the structure of the market, and then drill down to our uh, trade levels, our trade plan, and our hypotheses for the day. We create multiple hypotheses in order to have a plan in place for whatever the market uh, throws at us and then we execute our plan based on what the market is showing us and which plan is fitting the best. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, please send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. Uh, there's no website. For those. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. Uh, please read through the disclaimer. Uh, uh, Past performance is not indicative of future results. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, let's start off with, uh, of course, the news, NFP. Non-farm payroll Friday. So we came out at 8.30, and uh, we had... Uh, change in employment rate of uh, 10.7 versus expected minus 16.5 in Canada. Uh, unemployment rate came out better than expected. Uh, average hourly earnings came out uh, slightly less than expected and non-farm payroll change basically came out as expected, 178 versus 177 and the unemployment rate uh, was a little bit better. Um, we've got uh, Baynard speaking right now. Uh, and then 1 o'clock, we've got uh, Tarullo, uh, and that's leading up into next week's uh, uh, Fed announcement. Okay, going to the big picture. Beautiful trend up. Challenged at the end of 15, beginning of 16. Now we have a beautiful trend up. We've got this following three pattern. This is looking for continuation, but there's nothing uh, that says we can't get a pullback. Uh, we don't even violate the trend until we get to 21.37. Going to the weekly, the, uh, the uh, trend is up. Uh, we've had a beautiful move, but we're this week so far we're coming back and testing in, uh, into the range uh, of last week. Going to the daily, uh, you can see yesterday we broke below the 9. We're challenging the trend right now. We're trading in between the 9 and the 20. We're losing slope and separation. Uh, so we're stuck in the here. We're likely to, uh, to chop around here. A test of the uh, 20 will bring us down into the 2181 area. That 8050 is my next big destination below. Going to the intraday, uh, we've got a uh, slightly downward trend. It's been weak overnight, but they took it back a bit uh, on the non-farm, and currently we're uh, coming and uh, coming up to test the uh, nine from below before the RTH session. 30 minute, you can see that uh, the trend has been uh, changed, and we're looking for a possibility of an upward trend here. <clears throat> there is a cup and handle here on the 30 minute, uh, so a pullback, we'll watch. Uh, this is really uh, a, pull uh, a possible pullback right here, and this would probably give you the, the handle. Let's just look, look and see. It's not always the most beautiful uh, uh, pattern. Yeah, that, that gave a pullback. Uh, so we've got a uh, possible measured move here. Let's just take a look at it. $21.95 and uh, $21.97. But the trend is starting to look up on the 30-minute. Going to the 15 minute, you can see we're getting slope and separation trend is up. And the five minute, you can see that we came back and challenged it and then we're getting a continuation pattern. And again, we're getting this, uh, this uh, cup formation. Taking a look at the big picture.
We've broken out of this longer term balance, accepted prices, keep moving up, accepting prices. Now we're in this, uh, this uh, eight day profile and uh, we've come down and challenged the, the low of the profile and uh, we're currently right now uh, trading right around this distribution node in around the uh, 2190. Uh, we've got a little bit of resistance. The, you know, uh, our double distribution day uh, from yesterday's uh, LVN is 2190. Uh, 175. That's basically our over underline. Over that, you want to look for the move back up into the 2200s and uh, into the microcomposite VPOC, which is at 2199.75. Uh, 2186 becomes our key line in the sand. Below that, look for a move to 83, but I'm really looking for a move to this 8050. And anything below 80.50, a move back down to the next big destination, which will be dip back down here at 21.72.50, 21.73, which is where we accepted price after uh, the breakout uh, before con the continuation. Take a look at the uh, uh, the overnight. We've got uh, the uh, open of the bracket. The non-farm payroll is going to be 21.90. NFP number, return to the scene of the crime. Um, we flushed it a bit and then we've taken it all back and we're, and we're moving higher towards uh, the double distribution and the uh, 2191.75. So our overnight high is 2192 so far. It could get uh, uh, taken out before the open uh, or expanded, I should say. The overnight low is 84 and a quarter. Our overnight VPOC is not likely to uh, shift 2188.75. And that's all the information we need from there. All right, so our over underline obviously is going to be the 2191.75. Right near the high of the night so far. Above it, we're targeting where the VPOC was most of the day yesterday, up here at 95. Our value area high is 96 uh, and a quarter. Targeting the 99.50. Uh, then 22.02 is the range high and the open from uh, yesterday. And then all our targets above all remain the same. Um, below uh, the 91, look for rotation back to 90, and the 88.75 uh, overnight VPOC is going to be our main target below, and then our value area and our weak low. We did create a weak low uh, on the bottom yesterday at uh, 86 and a quarter, and then below that we've got the overnight uh, 84 and a quarter, and. Uh, We've got 83.50 as a target. And then, of course, the next big destination is here. And then the next uh, real support doesn't come in. Well, right here at 70, 76.50. And below that, it's all about this uh, 72. And then our next key support area, uh, key line in the sand is going to be the 66 uh, down here. Daily ATR target is running at 23.86. So off of the 21.84 and a quarter. Our uh, upward ATR target is going to be 22.08 and a quarter. And off of the current uh, 2192, and again, that can change very easily. We're trading so close to it. 2168 and a quarter.
and we've got a naked cl uh, naked cross down there or naked VPOC down there as well. Okay, so those are our levels. Basically, my hypothesis for, for the day centers around the uh, 2190-175. If we get above the 2197-75, I'm looking for a continuation up and towards the 2200 and chopping in the upward distribution with, uh, with a late day probe back into the 2200. So that's hypo 1. Uh, hypo 1B is a failure to get above 92. Chop in the lower distribution, break, and go down and hit the 2180. That is hypo 1B. They have equal weight, and based on how they trade the 2191.75. Basically, we're going to try to stay long above 2191.75, and we're going to try to stay short below 21. Uh, 9175. I mean, that's my that's my trade plan. Now, I'm not looking for a lot of extension, uh, but extensions today will be up into the all-time high on the upside and down to the uh, the uh, 70. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, 61 to 62 area. Uh, down here. So that's basically what I'm looking at. I'm sorry we're doing an abbreviated session, but I was uh, trading the non-farm. I'm basically done for the day if I want to be, uh, so I'll be very selective uh, on my trades. And uh, that's going to complete our pre-market session. We're currently uh, trading uh, just under the 21.9175 uh, uh, support one uh, for the day is at uh, 21.9150 as well. Uh, Keltner lines at 88.75. If we get below that, a move down to the lower Keltner is going to take us down into that uh, 83.50 target. Uh, that's going to complete our. Uh, can I put up my GC chart? Which GC chart, Peter? What chart do you want to see? Composite. So right now, we're in this area that doesn't give us a lot of guidance long term. Uh, so we have to go to the shorter time frame. Uh, we, hit, we hit that 74, uh, 80 target. Uh, we're in this uh, smaller micro composite with the, uh, the six-day balance uh, up here at 1186. Our two-day balance is 1171. I'm watching this 1171. If we can't hold the 1171, then I'm looking for a uh, continuation down. We're in a downward channel um, and a move down towards this 45 and 41. If we can stay above the 71, then I'm expecting to rotate, especially if we hold the 7480. Uh, I'm expecting to rotate back up into balance today. I'm not looking for a big move on gold today. You can see even on the on the non-farm, we didn't really make that big of a move in gold. Uh, so we're balancing out down here. Uh, you can see a lot of big orders coming in on both sides. Uh, if you were watching, there was actually a 680 lot order that came in. Um, I think it was in around the uh, 70 area. Uh, so we're, we are seeing uh, seeing some uh, some buyers stepping in down here, so I'm expecting to balance here as uh, OTF positions themselves, but not make a lot of big moves. Anyway, that's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.